everybody, no matter where you come from, has someone that they care about. We built an app that is a peer-to-peer -peer safety network that allows people to select companions from their contact book to watch them walk home safely. And if they ever feel nervous or unsafe, they can notify you within three taps. When we chose Google Maps for the foundation of our app, it was something that developers trusted, but the consumer also trusted. We want to build something that changes the way people live and improves their life. Methane is a huge global threat to all of our ecosystems and our health. It affects everything we are and we do. And so I feel really compelled day to day to like get up and try to fix the problem in the best, most impactful way that I can. What we've done is put methane sensors on a number of street view cars to map and measure methane levels coming from under city streets. The maps that we've created with the help of the API have really made this data visible in a way that it's never been before. There's nothing getting you ready for being homeless. All of a sudden, everything we take for granted is taken away. And we find ourselves basically sleeping in the streets. I think it's my duty as a person that's actually lived the experience to give back and actually help others. In Australia, one in 200 people are homeless, but 80% of them have got a smartphone of some kind. So there's a tremendous opportunity to get information into their hands. The whole point of our application is to help our users find their way to the services that they need. Using the Google Maps API means that we can give people the information they need to make a decision. There's no signpost saying this is where you get food, this is where you get blankets. It doesn't happen. We're giving this for somebody who's still homeless to actually help them to come forward and be reconnected. Yeah.